map for us, and it wasn't one that I don't want to do, so we'll do it. Why not, right? Let's see, what other games did I play a lot as a kid? I played through like almost all of the Zelda games. We might do we might do some like a Zelda series at one point. I think I might have actually played through all of the Zelda games. Like actually every single one except like since the N64. And no, I haven't played through Majora's Mask. I've never played Majora's Mask. People get so mad when I say that too. Like, how could you have not played Majora's Mask? I don't know. I, just, I never, I never had it as a kid. You know, I, I played through Ocarina of Time like dozens of times, but Majora's Mask, I just, I never had, and then I never thought to like legally acquire it um, later on. You know, just never, never really thought to do it. Maybe I will. I also don't really like games that have that like time limit on you because Final Fantasy 13 Lightning Returns did a similar thing where there was like a countdown and you could only do like so much during the day or whatever and then you had to go and, and talk to somebody or whatever and that would pass time um, and then like at a certain point you ran out of time and the game would either win or lose. Uh, and to me, that's not the kind of game that I like. I like being able to take my time in games because I take my time. Uh, and I like I like having that ability to do that. And in those games where you have a time limit, you can't really just like relax. To me, they they, they aren't relaxing. And uh, I don't know. I find them stressful having that time limit. So I don't generally like them. I, like I haven't. The Final Fantasy Thirteen series is by far my favorite Final Fantasy series. Like, bar none. It's 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 incredible to me. But a lot of people hate it, and uh, that's another controversial opinion to uh, to say that it's my favorite Final Fantasy series because they're always like, "But what about Final Fantasy Seven? I don't care. I haven't played Final Fantasy VII either. <laughs> it doesn't interest me. The uh, the remake of it really interests me. Anyway, Majora's Mask. Um, the Final Fantasy XIII series is my favorite, and um, I I haven't beaten Lightning Returns. I own it like twice. I have the like the collector's copy of it. Like big Final Fantasy XIII fan, right? And uh, it just it wasn't that good because of the, the time limit. It was a really fun game. I really enjoyed it while I played it. But then the time limit got me and I lost. And I was like, you know what? I just, I don't care anymore. Like, I, I died to the time limit once. And I was like, yeah. This just, it doesn't matter. Like, there was so much that I I didn't do as well. That I, that I like, avoided doing because of this time limit that was imposed on me for, for no real reason. And, uh... It just, it feels bad to, like, rush through things that I that I want to take my time exploring. Just because of some time limit that they decided to, to put in the game. That would have been just as good if it... Like, you, you could have just, like, played it off differently. Like, you know, you have to get this done soon. And like had this like increasing level of suspense as you progress through the story, um, but by just like implementing an actual like 13 days pass and you die, haha! It just it feels bad. And then with Majora's Mask, similar thing. It's like three days pass or whatever, and the world explodes. Like, do you get to go back in time, or do you have to go back to an older save, or do you have to redo it all? Like, I don't know. I don't know how it works, and it's uh kind of freaks me out makes me makes me not want to play it yeah um, Final Fantasy 7 the remake though that looks really really good and I really want to play that maybe we'll do that too I don't know I don't know how many series is 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 is, is I want to have on this channel because at a certain point I run out of time you know 
And I've talked about making YouTube my career a number of times now. Um, but like if I could do that, if I was making money on it, then like, dude, sure. I'll put, I'll put like eight hours a day, five days a week into it happily and, and get all of the videos recorded. Like I would love to do that. Like that sounds like a dream, dude. Just to like sit on my computer, not like literally sit on my computer and also not literally just be on my computer for eight hours, but to, to have an eight hour shift basically five days a week of just recording videos, playing games, talking to myself, editing them, you know, all that. I mean, I enjoy this so, so, so much. It's so much fun. So to like be able to make money from that and then be able to do it more because of that. I mean, that just sounds like a freaking dream. Um, but you know, I, I don't. So I'm like, well, I'm gonna have to go back to work. So at this point, you know, I have the time because I'm out of work. Um, I'm not planning on going back to work because I don't feel comfortable with that, with COVID. Like I can survive. I live with my parents still. I'm on disability. Like my bills can be paid. Um, the only thing is, is um, I'll be moving out later. I was supposed to be moving out like last month, I think. Uh, and that's not gonna be happening because because uh, of COVID. Um, but like other than that, I'm financially sound. I'm fine financially without uh, without a proper job. So kind of like you know maybe I should just put in the time, like do eight hours a day, five days a week, just just do that. And then grow the channel like as rapidly as I can, and, and see if we can get it to a point where um, it's going to be sustainable by the time COVID's over, or even before. Um, but then another part of me is like, okay, yeah, but it, that's probably not going to happen, right? So I don't really want to commit to that, and then have to a year from now start cutting stuff back. It just feels bad. Anyway. We're playing Ashwood Asylum. I don't mind this map so much. I think when I first played it, I said I don't like it, but after having played it a lot more, uh, I honestly, like, it's fine. I don't have a problem with it. It's, it's fine. Maybe I said I like it back then. I don't know. It's, it's okay. It was hard to find a picture on this map, though, because there's, like, so many cool spots. You know, you got, like, this tree here... And you got like these towers over here. Not towers, but like the apartment buildings or whatever. I don't know. Not, not, it's an asylum. It's not an apartment. Come on. You got like the little statue thing. Like there's so many places that you could like these things are kind of cool. So many places that you could take a picture of that made it really hard to find one that I was like, yeah, that's the picture. You know, if any of these videos are, if any of these maps are going to get a new picture made, like, honestly, Ashwood Asylum is, is definitely one of them because this has so, so many good places for, uh, and it's one of the maps that I actually will kite around in. Because I, I don't camp in Ashwood Asylum, like, ever, right? So, when I, when it's a map that I camp in, I try to go for a recognizable area in the map. Like, with the Steam Fortress, I camp usually at that, uh, that top part. So I tried to just go for either like that or um, go for, really? You got stunned up here? <laughs> okay, cool. I tried to go for the um, the Steam Fortress or find somewhere by that area that I camp, but like honestly, it's it's kind of an uninteresting spot. So I, uh, I, didn't, I didn't do it. Where are all of the Zeds? I know I was being stalked by a few, but... Here they are. I'm like, I know I was being stalked by like two or three of them, but I guess I was being stalked by literally every single Zed. And I just had no idea. You cannot do that. I don't appreciate that, okay? Ho 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 ho. That Zed time felt good. That said time felt really good. Oh no. No, that's that's really 
not so great. Especially when I'm whiffing like this. Another flesh pound? You for real right now? I'm hoping he's down low and not up high. Because if he's up... Yeah, he's down low. Okay, good, good. We're, we're good. Oh, no. This is too many flesh pounds. I don't like this many flesh pounds. And they're like in the worst... Oh, my God. What is happening? Okay. Here we go. There we go. Goodness. This game was really trying to get me there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it didn't. What's a giant paper cut? Is that is that is that her telling me that I'm bleeding? I don't know. Dialogue confuses me, man. Dialogue doesn't make no sense. What does this say? Roswell investigators of the paranormal. It's more it's not really paranormal. I guess this is supposed to be like a haunted asylum. Is that the lore here? Is this a haunted asylum with ghosts and whatnot that got overrun by Kevin and his clonies. Where are you at, boy? Here you are. Alright, bring it. Do the other um, bosses get slowed down by the, uh, the gunslinger skullcracker? Because I feel like they don't, right? I feel like the other bosses do not get slowed down by the, uh... Because they're not technically Zeds, are they? They're, like, people, but this one is a Zed. I wonder if that was an intentional thing that they did, or if, uh... It's just because they actually copied the, like, Flesh Pound code. I'm not sure. It's a very easy boss fight, though. Honestly... Hell and Earth does not seem too far away. I don't think we're there yet. I really don't think we're there yet. But we are... We are we are real dang close. Because these suicidal runs just feel... Really easy. As Gunslinger, anyway. I guess the other perks still has a little bit of a... Uh, tricky bits to it. But as the Gunslinger, like... Pfft, nothing. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.